Hi everybody, this is Brian Marvin in the NAC Tech shop in Nome and we're starting a video series on small engines and we're going to start this off with safety. Again, it's so important to be safe. To me, one of the most important things you could always have on when you're in the shop are the glasses. I've been hit in the face many times. Uh, there's a drill press over here against the wall that I was using years ago and a drill bit shattered and I heard the bit hit all around the shop. And then I felt something in my face and I went like this and I actually pulled a piece of it out of my face. And now when I think about it, I actually heard a piece of it hit my glasses. Okay? So be safe, don't be tough. Uh, there's no reason to be tough with this stuff because you wanna be doing this when you're in your 70s yet. They need to be comfortable. These are actually the style that will fit over a pair of glasses. And you can even get them dark if you'd like, if you're working outside. If you do wear prescription glasses, you can get safety glasses that are prescription that have the protection on the outside. Okay. You know it's mine because I'm old, I got bifocals on mine. Something else too that's really important I think is, is protect your hands. Mine if I'm working outside and they get wet and cold, wet and cold, they'll crack open and bleed. And also a big part of that is when you're working with the machines you're almost always handling or getting into some kind of petroleum product. So don't let that soak into your skin. It's, it's, uh, you know, it's cancer causing. They've actually proven that. So protect yourself. Again these are nitrile. You can also use latex. Latex works really well too. Make sure you're not allergic to it. And protect your ears as well. In other words, I, I know several folks in town that are wearing hearing aids today because they didn't protect themselves when they were young. You know, again, don't be tough. Don't be tough, be smart. Safety shoes. A safety shoe is one that they have protection uh, steel-toed. And some of them actually have covers that will cover the arch of your feet as well. In case you drop something there, it would uh, not break your bones in your feet. Again, it depends on where you'd be working. Some places will require you to wear safety shoes. There are a few other safety um, concerns I want to address here. Flammables in the shop and how to safely handle the flammables. Any kind of aerosols like this, again, are they're rather dangerous in the shop. And you gotta be real careful of any kind of spark, any kind of static spark. Obviously, if you're gonna pull the engine over, and see if it sparks, that kind of thing. Make sure that these are not around. And make sure if you've used them that it's evaporated. And again, one thing that's great in this shop is we have amazing ventilation. We have three of the big uh, fans here on the, in the walls, and we also have floor ventilation. So it's pretty awesome. We can take a, bring in a machine in here, put a hose on the exhaust pipe, flip the lever, and it goes right out the side of the building. So again, make sure you're not breathing those, those fumes. If you don't have that, make sure the windows are open, the doors are open, that kind of thing. Okay, be safe with that. So the carburetor cleaner is just exactly what it says. It's, it's a solvent. In other words, what it does is it dissolves the, the oil, the grime, and the varnish from the, from the gasoline. WD-40, again, it's water displacement. 40, this is the 40th try. And I don't think it was ever intended to be a lubricant or uh, a product that was used to loosen rusty bolts. Another one that's really, really good that I use with this is, is called uh, uh, Croil is excellent and so is the Seafoam. Now the brake parts cleaner, it says non-chlorinated. Uh, this stuff is um, probably about the most caustic, I guess in a way I would say. In other words, if you get a little bit of it on your hands, it'll turn your hands white. In other words, it dissolves, it dissolves the oil just like that. It's got acetone. Acetone is the solvent of solvents. It's also got heptane, uh, toluene, uh, methanol, again, which is, which is uh, wood alcohol, again, also a really nasty poison. So yeah, it says right on here, uh, warning danger poison. Okay. So yeah, this is just not the stuff to be getting on your hands, and obviously it's not the stuff to be breathing, and it will dissolve these. If that happens, put new ones on. Okay, they're, they're, they're not that expensive. Again, just protect yourself. Don't allow these things to get on your hands. Take care of the gasoline. Make sure it's safely uh, stored. If the gasoline explodes, it's, it's just a bomb. I mean, people are going to get hurt, killed. I mean, it's just, don't go there. Just please don't go there. So make sure that those are in cabinets, safety cabinets. Our safety cabinets here in the shop are, are behind this door right here. In the yellow cabinet, sometimes they're red. So make, make sure that, that um, they are not in a place where they could catch fire. Next, we're gonna talk about safety with the engine. And I think one of the best ways to get the gas out of this engine, rather than having to take the, the uh, gas tank off, 
take the gas cap off. This is just a jug that was used for, um, usually has gear oil in it. Put a hose on it, squeeze it, stick it down in and let it go and it will, it will siphon the gas out of the gas tank. It works really slick uh, and I think it's really safe obviously and dump it in the gas can and again, make sure it's properly stored. Also the oil. Make sure you get the oil out because if you leave the oil in, it never fails at the gasket. Doesn't quite seal and it makes a great big mess and then you got a big mess to clean up. The little plug is right here and you can just you know, let it drain out. Another thing I've done, I don't have one here right now, but, but if you get the right fitting, you can get a fitting that will fit in there with a barb and put a hose on it and then have that drip into a pan. Okay, that works too. Notice that the engine is bolted to a board. It's got quarter inch bolts or maybe they're 5 16 bolts. They come up from the bottom of the board and it fastens the engine to the board. Notice the big C-clamps to hold it down. There, there's no way that you're gonna start this engine and hold it to the tabletop. It's just gonna vibrate and end up on your, your feet. So this makes it very safe. And I've also been told that the engines will be supplied with the board. So when they go to site, it'll be supplied with that. So this is, this is big, this is very important. You need to secure the engine when you go to start it.